Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade Universal Sentry 144 Scale Giradoga. So, uh, if this one looks familiar, it's because uh, it's basically just a recolor version of the uh, Green Giradoga that I reviewed uh, a while back. So, uh, it's got some subtle differences, and I will talk about that in the review. So, this kit was released in 2009, made in Japan. Here we have some more pictures of uh, this version of the Giradoga. This is a blue one, also known as the uh, Regin Snyder uh, Youth version. Basically, uh, it's a commander type. And yeah, so we have a different beam rifle and a different headpiece with the commander antenna. Original retail price is 1800 yen in Japan. And uh, let's take a look at the, what come with this kit. So once again, very similar to the original Giradoga kit. Uh, we have the mono eye sticker and uh, uh, emblem sticker on the shield. So that's that. Don't not a big fan of these photo stickers. Unfortunately, there's only two of them. Here we have the instruction manual. Uh, made from titanium alloy and ceramic composite. We have beam machine gun, beam sword axe, uh, stern files, and grenade launcher. So right there, that's a beam machine gun. And uh, yeah. So we have the uh, instructions on how to assemble the kit, we have some gimmicks and advertisement for the rest of the kits from the series. Uh, we have the new Gundam, we have the Sazabi, Yak Doga, and the Gear Doga. Alright, I actually reviewed the new Gundam, uh, Shars uh, Sazabi, and most of the kit from the series. So yeah, here we have some more pictures of the uh, Yak Doga. Ah, uh, no, the, <laughs> the gear doga. I uh, didn't paint it in these details, unfortunately. I think I will get to them eventually. Uh, you're supposed to paint these cables, uh, I guess gold or something, to uh, make the details stand out. I just left it as is, right for now. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. So right here we have the shield, the same shield from the gear doga. I just put on some water slide decals on it. Uh, you know, make it more interesting. So, shield can be attached to the shield connector on the uh, left arm. We have two pegs right here. You can have it attached on either one. We have four stern files, just like the uh, uh, the original Gear Doga kit, and they can be attached to the shield like so, like that, like that. And like that. Uh, I'm not actually gonna go into the articulation on this kit because I already talked about that in the uh, Giradoga uh, original kit. So if you want to see the articulation, just follow the link in the video description. Uh, the shield can bend just like the original. And uh, that's pretty much it for that accessory. Uh, we also have an extra piece here if you want to make a mass production type. Uh, this is the original headpiece for the regular Giradoga. We have two of these. Uh, this one right here, we have the commander antenna, so that's pretty cool. Alright, and then uh, we have uh, one multi-purpose uh, gripping hand. You can use this to uh, grab onto the beam axe. Or the beam sword axe kind of thing. So basically, uh, we have two effect pieces here, just just like the uh, original Gear Doga. So if you have two options, you can make the X or you can make this. All right, and uh, we also have uh, the beam saber effect piece. Uh, the beam saber effect piece can be connected to this one, this weapon right here, the beam sword X. So basically, uh, this one has a smaller slot right there. Uh, it won't let you attach one of those uh, effect piece. So you can only attach this. So yeah. Alright, so that's it. And uh, it can be stored back here on the back skirt. Color in all the cameras, painted in the uh, thrusters. The thrusters on the leg, uh, thrusters on the side, thruster on the shoulders. And yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna get to uh, these uh, eventually. I think it looks, uh, it looks okay right now <laughs> without the uh, extra detailing, but yeah. Anyway, I added a lot of uh, water slide decal onto this kit to give it additional extra detail. I think uh, make it look a lot cooler. We've got these uh, Shars uh, Zeon logo, Shars Neo Zeon logos on the back. 
Got the Anaheim Electronics sticker up there, Anaheim Electronics, and uh, just a whole bunch more uh, decals. So uh, we have one open hand here, a little do you uh, let the gear doga wheel, you know, to be machine gun, and the trigger finger. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this beam machine gun is actually pretty cool. It's somewhat unique. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, if you like this machine gun, definitely pick up this kit. <laughs> it does look a lot better than the standard Gear Doga weapon. And uh, besides that, uh, there's really not much difference. It's a different machine gun, different head, different color. And uh, yeah, uh, if you, I guess if you prefer the blue color, yes, uh, then definitely pick up this one. You can still make it into the mass production type, and they're pretty much the same price. So yeah, if you want to make like an army of blue uh, Girardogas, you can just pick up this kit. And there's really not much else to say about it. Uh, it's a pretty nice kit if you uh, want to complete your collection. Uh, if you're a fan of Shards Counterattack or uh, you know you just like the Gear Doga in general. And uh, that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, check out the uh, uh, link in the video description to see the articulation on the Gear Doga from the previous kit. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys find the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.